start these things. Hello there, I just got back very recently off of my holiday to Finland which was super amazing and lovely and I had been dreaming about and saving up for for a very long time. Not in small part because I knew there were a lot of things I wanted to buy in Finland that I couldn't really get very easily anywhere else and as a result I went there with a backpack and a little shoulder bag and I came back with a backpack, a little shoulder bag, an enormous carrier bag and a whole suitcase full of things. So I figured I may as well show you everything I got and do a little haul of all things Finland. So I've got some Marimekko, some monkey, uh, a few random little things and mainly a hell of a lot of movements. So let's get stuck in. I am going to start with the smallest bit first. I went to Marimekko. They had a ton of really beautiful clothes and shoes and homeware and things which I loved but the clothes were super expensive and the homeware was mainly sort of kitchenware, porcelain, pottery kind of things that I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get home in one piece. So I just got a couple of little tiny bits uh, just because I loved it. So I got this little set of notebooks, which it's a set of three A5 notebooks. It was 14 euros and 90 cents. So it's the first time I've opened it. So it's a little set of three. So there is this, which I think is their poppy print which is their most famous fabric as far as I'm aware. This one with some little sort of slate grey black and yellow like bobbly things and this one which might be my favourite which has a little selection of sort of cross sections of like fruit and vegetables and things. There's pomegranates, there's apples, it's maybe onion, it's all quite abstract but I just really love the colours of it's like a linen-y feeling sort of cover. Um, we've all got the little black binding and then they're just lined. I love them. Uh, so that is those. I also got this little purse, which I apologise if it's a bit grubby. I'm using it as my current purse at the moment. Silver guess lock clasp. Um, and it's this beautiful um, black fabric with a sort of orange, yellow, white uh, kind of marigold print. They had a lot of clothes in these. There was a coat which nearly made me cry. It was beautiful. Um, but these little purses were a lot more affordable. I love it. Uh, so that is everything I got in Marimekko. We went on a little day trip to, I think it's called Porvo, Porvu, something like that. It's a really, like, really pretty little old town with all the wooden buildings and things. There's lots of arty crafty shops and things. And there was a toy shop there which was really freaking cute. And they had Pippi Longstockings postcard. Hope you can see that. Pippi Longstockings was my absolute favourite film in the entire world as a child and I have never, apart from seeing the actual books, seen a single bit of merchandise or anything to do with the film in my life so I nearly cried when I saw a little postcard so this wasn't getting sent to anyone. I think I'm gonna put this in a little frame. It's just Pippi on the horse with the big bag. I love it. From Monkey. First things first, inside out, it is this little, it's not quite sleeveless, but very short sleeved shirt, which is just very loose and flowy. Uh, if you can see, it's got this crazy like eye print with some like really jaggedy geometric shapes and some like pebbly things. It feels kind of like caveman-y somehow to me but with some spooky witchy eyes. Um, it's This is in a size L, size large. Um, it's just yeah really nice and drapey and loose. It's got short sleeves but they're very like wide cut um, so they're just nice and nice and floaty. Um, it's just got a regular little little collar like tucked into, I've got a little grey A-line skirt which this looks really cute tucked into or just sort of loose and baggy over black jeans or with pretty much anything because what don't purple eyes go with really? Eyes. Yes. Um, and this was just a little cute notebook with 
some little ghosties on because I'm getting excited for Halloween already. I think I might. Do you do this every year just after Halloween? I usually come up with a ton of great ideas for costumes, for parties, for things I want to do for Halloween and then I never write them down and I never make note of them and when it comes round to the next Halloween I've forgotten all of them and I can't think of anything I want to be or anything I want to do so I think this is going to be my little Halloween planner and every Halloween idea I have I am going to stick or write in here so I'm going to write down costume ideas, trick or treat ideas, things I want to make or bake or craft or sew or decorate with, I'm going to do little lookbook mood board things. I have grand plans for this little notebook so it was entirely worth the three euros that I spent on it. And just had some really cute little trainer socks which look super tiny but they do like stretch. Um, I just really liked the colour of these so they are a really nice warm orange with navy blue and then little pink horizontal stripes on them. Look at them! little teeny yellow socks with little weird weird ghosties on i really like that the ghosts like don't quite match they're like they're like little friends who are just gonna be hanging out together on my feet so i got more socks and one of these i think is in the wash i'm not quite sure where it is and i have already worn them and they're white socks so i apologize if they look a bit grubby but they're amazing um so this one it's like white with a little black squares all over it and it's got like a hot dog wearing some high heels as you do and this one says hello and its friend on the other foot is a similar hot dog in high heels and it says sweetie so they say hello sweetie and I'm vaguely imagining some kind of Doctor Who wibbly wobbly thing River Song turns into a hot dog because you know is Doctor Who but somehow we know it's her because she's saying hello sweetie hot dog socks this little set of hair combs I hope they are showing up so there's a little sunshine yellow one and there's a little blue rain cloud which I especially love because it kind of looks like it's just raining with the little Prongs, forks, whatever you call them, and this little green lumpy one, which when they're with those, it's like the sun and a cloud over some hills. Um, and my hair's kind of too short really to do much like comey stuff with, and these are like quite a rigid plastic, so I might struggle to do the normal comey thing, but I think I'll probably like stick my hair in a bun maybe when it's a bit longer, and then I can just stick one or two or three of these just in the top of it. And I think they'll be really cute. You can tell I was already excited from the Moomins because I've been wanting a hat a bit like Two Tiki's hat, uh, which if you know it is, it's like a blue, like a boxy kind of hat with a big red pom pom on. And this isn't exactly like that, but it's got the big red pom pom part, right? Uh, it's just a really nice red berry, berry with a really like oversized giant red fluffy pom pom on. Like so, which is freaking adorable, and I love it. And I'm gonna be wearing this all autumn and winter. I've got a blue and white check coat that this is gonna look really cute with, or a little like I've got a little navy blue pea coat as well, it'll go with it. Just I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. I got, and I think this might be my favorite thing from Monkey. I have not stopped wearing this. I wore it on my holiday. I've worn it a bunch of times since I got back and I haven't been back that long. So it has been through the wash and I haven't ironed it. I literally just got it out of the dryer minutes before I was making this video. So I apologise if it's creased, but it is this super big oversized baggy shirt in this big geometric pattern, which is a sort of peachy like pale dusky peachy pinky colour, a very very pale grey, um, an emerald green and black and I love the fact that it's very pale grey and not white because it means if I accidentally get it in the washing machine with something that it's not sparkling white and it turns grey it doesn't matter because it was meant to be like that. 
um so it is just sort of really loose and flowy it's got kind of three quarter length sleeves they just have a little little uh, button they're quite nice to roll up i love at the back try and get it to show you you can see it's got this sort of big box pleat down the back which makes it just sort of flow out even more and it's quite a bit I'd say it's about like that much longer in back than it is in front so it kind of floats down hides the bottom um it's just quite floaty it's just about long enough that I mean I'd probably wear leggings or shorts or something but I could just about get away with wearing it as a dress and I have a very long torso and short legs so if you have a short torso you could definitely wear this as a shirt dress this is super long super baggy just really freaking cute i bought this can i get it all in frame ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da. this was on the sale rack i think it was like six or seven euros it was crazy cheap like purely for the amount of garment you're getting for this so it is a really nice thick chunky knit sweater dress slash generally oversized sweater jumper type thing in a nice warm orange with black stripes and the stripes are all like different thicknesses which I thought was pretty cool and something a little different and it's got the stripes again on the cuffs it's got these really nice like quite wide baggy arms and just like a sort of crew neck and I just thought this was the most like cozy like Halloween without being really overtly covered in pumpkins and ghosts and witches and stuff like Halloween jumper like as soon as it gets to autumn I am all about like the casual Halloween look like I will wear a fancy dress as much as I can nearer the time but generally for the whole of October I like to somehow in some way feel like I am living the Halloween life um I might actually do like a casual Halloween lookbook so give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see that comment in the comments anything that you'd like to see in that because I would totally be up for making that um so I figured this was just going to be like my big cozy Halloweeny jumper I just like wearing it with sort of black skinnies or over like a black floaty kind of skirt or something just generally for slouching around with like big thick big thick tights and boots general cozy comfy niceness all things Moomin. Moomin coffees um, and they have various various different ones with Moomins on which are just so freaking cute. Uh, so this is the Moomin coffee in blueberry flavour. Um, let me know if you'd like me to see me do some kind of like tasting video or something with these. Next we have the Dark Roast Moomin Coffee which has Moomin Papa on the front reading his newspaper, drinking his cup of coffee. This one I am gonna have to save myself till winter because I want this to be like my Christmas coffee. It's the Moomin Coffee in winter. What winter tastes like? I don't know. I'm assuming maybe it's like gingerbread spice oh does it say anything smooth aromatic and slightly darker coffee blend made from but it doesn't really say anything about any like christmas spice or anything i'm kind of hoping it's maybe like gingerbread spiced something like that um but it's got a really cute like moomin lamb midwinter illustration on with moomin troll mimble and snork maiden or drinking their coffee over the little campfire so we have big tin, medium tin, a little baby tin and these were all, they all nest inside each other um, so these all got just a little hinged lid um, just, just regular tin on the inside I don't know what this pattern is called I can't see it anywhere on there but it's like it's a little garden party so it's got little trees there's cakes there's balloons and things there's all the characters I think just having a little a little summery party look at the little hattie fatteners just look at them 
and to go with that I'd seen these before and really wanted one I have a lot of different flavoured teas um, and a lot of them were like you know there's like little little cardboardy box things they come in and they all had like were like half full or a quarter full of teas um, and it's just a big waste of cupboard space so I really wanted something like this which is in the same print the same pattern as that one it is a little moomin tea caddy uh, so this one I already actually have my teas in which I've shaken about a bit because I put it in a bag to carry in here rather than just leaving it in my cupboard uh, but it's got this little sort of don't know if you can see it's got little metal dividers dividing it into four compartments there uh, so I currently have the Twinings Cranberry and Raspberry Tea, the Twinings Calming Chamomile, Dr. Stewart's Apple and Ginger, which is my all-time favourite, like, fruit tea, and the Twinings Salted Caramel Green Tea in there. So this is kind of my, like, autumnal flavoured tea selection in this one, very possibly. Um, so that is that. In fact, to go in that, I got Moomin Tea. Um, so this selection, there's two selections, uh, one of which I've had before, this one I haven't, um, and this selection is called All Things Fun Are Good For Your Tummy, which is just adorable, I love it. Uh, so this is the uh, Rubos, Roibos, um, it's also called Red Bush Tea, it's basically the decaffeinated um, or a caffeine free variety of tea, it's in this little orangey box which again is making me feel very autumnal I like it um, it's got Moomin Troll and Snork Maiden and the snake and they're all in the jungle and it's really cute and in fact I'm going to open it because I know it has four different types of tea in it and they'll all be in their own really cute little packets and I haven't seen them yet so oh they're all little autumny colours my little my little heart can't take it. So we have, first things first, this one has sniff on it and it is the ready to go tea. Um, so this is, okay it doesn't say the flavour on that but it does say it on here. So the ready to go tea, where is it written? Um, where is it underneath? That's all good. So the ready to go tea is a banana and vanilla flavour. I don't think I've ever in my life had a banana tea. So that's quite exciting. So there's banana and vanilla. So this one has a little Mai on it. It is called Tangy Trick and it is cheesecake flavour. So we'll have to see what that's like. I may have to try it with some cheesecake in a cheesecake. I don't know. Um, this one has stinky on it. I really hope it is an actual stinky tea. That would not be nice. This is called You'll See. Um, and this is chocolate cake flavour. Um, and this last one is called Me Too and it has Moomin Troll on it. And the Me Too is strawberry milkshake flavour which sounds delicious so I'm gonna have to give all those a try there's five of each in there uh, I did get a couple of boxes of this because I know you don't get many of each one and I'd be sad if I tried one and really loved it and then I only actually had five tea bags best moment of the day selection and it's got all the little Moomin family diving into the sea on it Um again I have been able to get this in England but it is more expensive than it is in Finland Um so you have open this up and showed you. I've had this before and I really like quite a few of these flavours so I bought a few of these as well. Oh my god I can't get into this box. There we go. So we have the I Should Know tea which has little Mai on and this is black tea with a lemon flavour which is quite nice. It's not my favourite it's just quite fresh. Um, we have Moom and Mama's Magic Potion, which I think is my favourite of these, which is uh, rhubarb and strawberry flavour tea, which is just really nice and fruity. Um, a lot of these are quite interesting because normally if you get fruit teas, you don't have milk in them, like the milk goes weird, but because these are black teas with some fruit flavour, you can have milk with them and it's like, I don't 
don't know it's just it's just different and it's really nice um this is the what's this called so this is sweetheart which is the wild strawberry flavor which is lovely and finally of all the teas this is the go for it tea which is blueberry muffin flavour, which is very, very sweet, uh, but really nice. But when if you're avoiding sugar, but still want like a sweet tasting tea, or you're trying to wean yourself off having sugar in your tea, something like this might just do it because it tastes sweet, but I don't think they've added any sugar to it. So no, and it's just flavoured. Um, so that's really nice. So I've got a few of each of those, some of which will probably go into my Moomin tea caddies. Um, yum, yum, yum. One tea caddy was not going to be enough. I got another one. Um, so this is a bright yellow one uh, with Moomin Troll hugging a nice little tree. I just thought it was like really bright and sunny and happy. This one did get dinged a little bit in my suitcase so if you're buying these tins wrap them up in your clothes in your suitcase don't put them right at the edge of the suitcase because it's quite like thin metal and it does get dented but it adds a bit of character I don't mind um ah this one I haven't got tea in yet so you can see you could use these as well for like for jewelry boxes for trinkets for storing any small little things that you want to keep in little separate containers to be honest I'm gonna fill the with tea. Look how freaking cute the Moomin Shop carrier bag is. It's just full blown, full blown Moomin beauty. I love it. So it's Moomin on one side, Snort Maiden on the other. I think this was the 100th um, anniversary celebrations illustration. Um, I think it's a Moomin Midsummer kind of a one. So it's got the illustration going the whole way across the notebook and this is just a little um I think a six something like that um yeah a six kind of sized notebook and it's got plain pages in and I like plain pages because I like to bring them with me when I've got long train journeys and things and doodle everyone who's sitting near me this I got I saw originally and I thought it was a set of little badges I didn't notice that it came on a little cardboard shoe and apparently these are the little decorations you're meant to stick in crocs. I don't have crocs. I'm not planning on getting any crocs. Um, so I don't quite know what I'm going to do with these little snuffkins. I might try and see... Oh, in fact I'm wearing a shirt. Maybe I'll try and see if I can somehow wear them in a buttonhole. These aren't the right size, but I might try and see if I can wear them in a little buttonhole or something. Um, because they are cute little little mini snuffkins. He's cute, the other one's cute. I thought they were going to be little badges of me and my friend could both have one. Um, but that was clearly not meant to be. This is a little wooden matchbox with a little... I don't know if it's printed on or it kind of almost looks like it's burnt into it. A picture of... Snufkin, a Moomin Troll camping with a campfire. Um, it says Helsinki, Finland 2016 on the back, which means it's going to be like quite emotional for me and my friend, or like sentimental, because um, that's obviously when we went on holiday and where we went. Um, and it's got two little matchboxes in and the little striker along the side. I will say, I don't know if it's the matches or the striker, but they weren't actually the best of quality, so I'd be tempted to have put their standard size matchbox to put another box of matches in there with its own striker on and use that because these ones were a bit flimsy but this is adorable so I want this to light my candles with. I was intending to use this as a camera strap and I did use it as a camera strap for a while. It worked pretty well and then it broke but it's just this little Moomin lanyard so it's pink with little moomins can you see that little moomins on it um and then it's got this little like plasticky clip so i guess you can take off whatever you've got clipped on there and it's got a little like metal thing with a little tiny little tiny moomin charm on there as well it did have a little silver um the hooky 
hooky clip thing that's clipped onto my camera but that broke off the end there so I'm sure it works perfectly well as a regular lanyard with your like card or pass or whatever on the end not really the best camera strap but it was cute that I got this next thing because that one broke I got another one and um, so that was more of a like a webbing kind of fabric this is more of a like a ribbony silky kind of one and I actually got this one from Moomin World so it says Moomin World on the inside and it's got little my on the outside here it's got the metal clip like it's supposed to um, and then it's just got this little black clip fastening on so we wear it I got this is actually a birthday present for my friend who I was on holiday with because she fell in love with it but couldn't fit it in her bag and just wasn't quite sure she wanted to buy it but she clearly really loved it so I've got it for her for her birthday she knows I've got it so it doesn't matter if she sees this but it's this little squishy grok teddy he's got like a bean baggy like base so we'll stand up um, and he's just really soft and squishy and fleecy and fuzzy and the Groke is both of our favourites. I'm getting quite attached to her. I might keep her. But someday maybe I will get one of my own. Next we have... This isn't in its packaging, I've already used it. On the flight into Finland I got really dry chapped lips. I forgot to bring a lip balm with me um, but I made sure on the way back that I got one and if I'm gonna get a lip balm I may as well get a freaking Moomin one so this one has little Mai on it um, I think it's just strawberry flavour yeah it's just juicy standard kind of chapstick it's not really it's got the tiniest pink tint but it's really just a lip balm it smells it smells like strawberry sherbets that's what it smells of it's good stuff. Next thing I got, I got in Moomin Land, I got this little Moomin necklace. So it's just a little Moomin Troll figurine on a little pink cord. I thought this was really cute. I've got my cousin's little girl, the matching hair clips, but I wanted this for myself. And I just like having my little Moomin friend with me wherever I go. So I went completely nuts. And like I said, I saved up for all of this for like a year and a half like this is not a usual size haul for me I saved up for this because I knew I was going to want to buy a lot of stuff when I was there um, and I didn't want to feel like impeded um, I didn't really want to like restrict myself too much so I made sure that I saved up enough that I could have a proper shopping spree when I was there so anyway this necklace is uh, made by Pluto Pluto product. Uh, it's in a little, its own little tin, uh, which keeps it nice and safe. Let's try and get it out. So it's on a little, a little foam spongy cushion thing. It's quite a long pendant necklace. You can make it longer or shorter as you want. And it is what's this stuff called? The clear plasticky. Not loose sight. Thingy. I can't remember. Whatever it's called, that clear plastic stuff. Um and it's quite like feels like quite like sixties pop party. So it's got little little red little my there. And then it's got a little white and a little black flower. Let's try and there we go. A little white and a little black flower. Oh just dangling there. I just really freaking love this necklace. We're nearly there, I promise. We're getting there. This so it's actually a tin of biscuits, uh, which I brought back and shared the biscuits with with the family. Um, and I've still got the tin. The biscuits have all gone. They were just little little general biscuits in the shape of all the characters. Um, this was the the Tove, um, the one hundredth centenary of her life and um, the sort of the anniversary collection so it's all this like blue and white and red and black illustrations of the like little party in the forest and um, some more on there I've just got what have I got in here I've got peppermint tea in it at the moment I said I have a big tea collection I wasn't lying I got a little my wallet um so this is red 
little tiny white polka dots, I don't know if that's all going to focus for you. And little Mai with her umbrella, and it says little Mai, and it has the Moomin on the back, and it's just a little snap closure, and inside it's got your little, little coin purse, your little like slots for your cards to go in, and then a couple of little slots for like notes and receipts and things. And like I said, Little Mai's my favourite and I couldn't resist. And this was actually super cheap, I think. So I love it. And it just feels really like squidgy. Being on the Little Mai theme, I haven't actually tried these on yet. I have no idea if they fit, but they are Little Mai leggings. Uh, so they're just a knitted, a knitted black legging. I have a feeling these aren't going to be super opaque. So I'm probably going to have to wear these with a skirt. They're just black leggings with little my all over them so I'm probably just gonna wear these with like a black dress that little my necklace and some little boots or something in winter I have no shame I dress myself head to toe in moomins quite happily all the damn time this little keyring which just says moomin world and it's got moomin troll on um, and it's also a little a little torch. I got a t-shirt which they had the adult t-shirts and they were all right I didn't quite none of them were quite the right one I like I got one for my dad that he would like but none of them were quite my style or if they were they were literally ones I already had um, and I had a look at the kids ones and I wanted something that was specifically from Moomin World like not one that I could just get anywhere because I know like Primark and maybe Tesco or Asda or someone have done collaborations and did movement pajamas um, and things like that which I do already have so I wanted something that was specifically I could only get this in Finland it's my Finland Moomin t-shirt and this was one of the kids ones but it was like the junior extra large and it does fit it's just quite a, like a snug little snug little t-shirt and it's just bright green and it's got Moomin troll uh, and he's just dusting the little logo that says, I've no idea how to actually pronounce it in Finnish, like Moomin Milma, it basically is Moomin World. Um, and he's just cleaning that. And I just thought this was cute. Got, not in Moomin Land, this was in, I think it's uh, Finlayson, Finlayson, however you pronounce it, I don't quite know. Uh, it's like a homeware kind of thing, and they do a bunch of Moomin bedding, and I kind of wanted a full set, but they were quite expensive. But they had a little sale on, and I bought a pillowcase. I don't know why I didn't buy two. I was an idiot. I think I vaguely thought there would maybe be two pillowcases in the set, but there weren't. Uh, but it was half price, maybe less than half price. It was literally about five euros. I really need a bigger pillow to put in this because this pillowcase is huge. It's huge. It's massive. I love it. Um, so it has Snork Maiden, uh, the little shadow dog dude. Uh, Moomin Troll, um, all in a kind of like green jungly thing. I think this is a Moomin's on the Riviera kind of a print. Um, just all very yellow and green and orange. And my room has a lot of the sort of the whites and greens in, so I thought this would go quite nicely. And it's just a really big, nice pillowcase. So pretty much all the supermarkets have Moomin like bag for life type things. Uh, so I bought quite a few. This is. The only one I could find today, I'm not quite sure where I've put the others, I've tidied them somewhere, I don't know. Uh, but this is like a slightly green toned cream, uh, just with the little sort of beigey webbing kind of handles. It's like, it's one of the super strong kind of ones, like I can carry a whole bunch of stuff in this. Um, so it's just got all the little Moomin characters and quite a little like pastel-y kind of a palette I really like little my up the little pink tree and um, I got this one I've got a like a bright pink one with I think with mimble on it maybe and a black one with I think lots of little mice with the brightly colored umbrellas maybe something like that uh, and I think I've got um yeah I've got like a yellow canvasy fabric -y one just with moomin troll on it that is all of the moomin things now the very very last things I have to show you where did I just put them were from a place which the name of this little town is called I'm sorry if I butchered the name of this it's something like Parikala or Parikala um, it's somewhere sort of over towards the Russian border um, 
writing a load of woodland um, and me and my friend had seen on Buzzfeed this list of like the top 10 creepiest places in the world and we were already planning a holiday to Finland, we knew we were going there, we'd booked the flights and one of these places was in Finland and we thought we just kind of had to go there uh, because it looked so terrifying that we couldn't not do so we kind of rented ourselves a little cabin in the woods because that's what you do when you want to get super haunted and you go into a creepy place and we went there now originally we were going to a uh, road trip all around Finland just hire a car and drive around everywhere that all kind of fell through at the last minute we ended up interrailing instead which was great for most of it um, but it did mean some places like this we were going to have a real tricky time getting to bear with me there is a point to all of this which i am getting to basically we wanted to go to the sculpture park but we could get to the train station in the little town near it but we really couldn't get to the place and we were really worried we planned so much of our holiday around going to this place and we'd emailed the people at the park and they were super super wonderful and lovely and they basically organised for one of the people who work at the park to come to the train station and pick us up and take us there and he was kind of our tour guide for the whole thing um, which was really really lovely um, and they were saying no we won't charge you at all for, for the car ride for petrol for anything like that but it would be really lovely if you could make a donation or buy something in the gift shop and to be honest I was going to buy stuff in the gift shop anyway like souvenir gift shops are probably like my favourite type of shop I love them and um, so I bought a couple of things when I was there now this place has really creepy really really creepy like you look into the rise and you think you're being haunted like sculptures and statues and things and one of my favorites was this one of a little child holding a really weird white bunny rabbit with bright red eyes and they had a badge with that little statue on it can you see it there yes um, and it was the last one with that print on actually all the others were different sculptures which were fine but they weren't my favourite and that was my favourite and I really like the colour so I'm just going to wear that on everything forever and this is the very very last thing in the entire haul you have made it there if you made it all the way here comment in the comments uh, your creepiest story about rabbits and then I'll know you made it right to the end um, because this is the creepiest thing you're ever going to see maybe all day there's basically there's these two sculptures in amongst the like 500 sculptures there is a sculpture of life and a sculpture of death and this one is death just look at her look into those eyes behold the majesty of this just look at her red, red lips and her soulless eyes. I am 100% going to be haunted as soon as I put this on. I kind of haven't dared put it on yet, just in case I become possessed. I could not buy the creepiest t-shirt I've ever seen in my whole life. So I might wear this as pyjamas and have nightmares forever. yeah so that is everything um so thank you so much for sticking all the way through to the end of this i know there was a ton of stuff in there this is probably the longest video in the whole entire world um but hopefully there were enough moomins in it to keep you satisfied for like a while probably um so let me know what your favorite thing was uh give this a like subscribe if you want to see more videos i might be doing maybe halloween lookbooks stuff like that let me know what you'd like to see thank you so much for watching have an awesome and magical day thank you